I'm Kelsey. I make comics and art. Today, we're not going to be making comics and art. We are going to be changing up the studio space in which I make comics and art. Let me show you. So this is the studio space that we are working with. It is, in fact, a corner of what the apartment layout calls the dining room space. But this is the only available space that I have to make into a studio space, so this is what we got. As you can see, it's okay as far as studio spaces go next to the kitchen so I can get to my tea kettle right away. It is its own designated spot and not a corner of my bedroom or the living room. It is thoroughly away from the television so if my roommate is doing something on the TV I am not distracted but I feel like this could be better. So here are my goals with this particular studio setup. Remodel. Goal number one, get it to a point where I can comfortably set up my tripod so I can record at either of these desks. Right now, I can't really record any traditional art making videos because it is kind of jammed into the corner here and the tripod takes up a lot of space. So if I can get it to a point where I can record videos at either of these desks, that'd be great. Thing two, I wanna make sure that there is a walkway to pass through so that we're not blocked off from the kitchen in terms of the layout. And then that's when my refrigerator decides to kick back on. Rude. That's my second goal. Make sure that the walkway is clear so that people and kitties can make their way through. Thing three that I'd like to accomplish with this remodel is to make my online store and convention gear easier to access. Right now, everything is stored in these milk crates, which is fine. But anytime that I make an online sale, I have to unstack all of these milk crates, dig through the boxes, and find where the stuff is being kept. And I'd like to not do that. That's just a pain. So I would like to ideally find a bookcase that could fit either in this space or in the office in general to replace these milk crates because I don't travel with these milk crates anymore. Because the other thing is I've gotten to a point where I can fit all of my convention gear into one suitcase. The milk crates are not necessary anymore. So I'm gonna need to retire these or turn these into temporary shelving until I can get a bookcase in this corner or something. But I'd like to do something so that I can more easily access the store stuff that is kept in here. There was a fourth thing that I wanted to accomplish with this studio reorganization project, but now I don't remember what it was. But eventually when I remember it, I will mention it on the camera. Till then, I am going to set up a table in the living room area so that it can act as a home base to temporarily store some of the stuff that's sitting on the desks at the moment while I move stuff out of the office onto that temporary setup space in the living room and then that'll give me a little bit more space to move stuff around. Cue time lapse. This apartment is a giant circle. <laughs> Uh, so previously we used to store a fold-up table under this floral couch because we would sometimes have company over to play D&D &D and whatnot and it was just easier to have a table folded and stored underneath of the couch. It's not there so I'm gonna have to use the table that is stored behind this uh, mug display cabinet. I'll show you. Oh geez. Da! you're gonna to have to move so I can have a walkway between the office space and the living room.
these duckies are small enough that they're going to have to go into my bedroom for the time being so that the kitties do not try to bat them away or tuck them into a hiding place. So now this is the problem that I have, is that I have a stack of four milk crates here, and I don't know where else to put them other than maybe the kitchen. I guess I'll have to put them in the kitchen for now. This is a temporary solution. <laughs> And now for the fur baby's least favorite step of the cleaning process, the vacuuming. I apologize, fur babies. It's not real exercise until I strip off my layers. You're now at the stage where I can move the desks around. I'm gonna try one configuration really fast just to see if it works as well as I think it will. But the thing is, I did measure these desks before today. I measured how wide this one was and how wide the drafting desk was. And the drafting desk is actually at least five inches narrower than the standing desk. So, what I'm thinking of doing, uh, you know what, why, why am I telling you? Let me just show you. I'm gonna learn my lesson. Whoops, I squished myself against the wall, but I'm out. I need to tighten up some bolts. Shit.
So holy cannoli, this is actually way better than I expected it to be. I don't know if this comes across well on camera, but this just opened up an even wider hallway, which is just so nice. I love it so much, and this is before putting the milk crates back in, but there's still room for milk crates here to serve as temporary shelving, which is good. And it looks like I still have some room for the milk crates over here, which would also be really good. Now, I could move this glass desk forward a little bit, but then I feel like that would narrow this gap further. The other thing I gotta do is I gotta tighten up some bolts, so let me go get an Allen wrench and do that real fast. for somebody who has a busted tailbone, like I do. The things we do for art, better. Ooh. Don't wanna strip that. Okay, there's no attachments on the top, just making sure. start moving the milk crates or anything like that I figure the most important test that I got to do to make sure that this setup is going to work is to get the office chair in and do some sitting and standing tests so let's go ahead and take care of that okay here we go we got the chair okay smooth path between promising Yeah. Oh, we gotta plug this in. Right now it's in standing position. Actually, in standing position, let's go ahead and test this. Hey! Oh, this is so nice! Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> Crap! 
crab dance of joy. Okay, now for the ultimate test. We gotta do. We gotta do both desks. Sitting down. So smooth! Oh my god. How have I not done this sooner? Those are the best kinds of redesigns for an office space is when you redesign it and you go, why haven't I done this sooner? That's when you know you're onto some good stuff. <laughs> now to move everything else into place. Oh, the milk crates are going to be an adventure. We got a stack of milk crates. Now we're going to check and make sure that the desk can actually like properly angle even with the milk crates in place. Here we go. Hey! Okay, but now, now comes the hard ball. Why is this milk crate red, you might ask? Because it was the one that was available next to the dumpsters at my apartment complex. I made sure to get a, give it a good thorough wipe down. All right, angle test take two. He's almost dying, jeez. Gonna have to figure out what to do with these stars of fantasy though pretty soon. And it's finally done for now. There will be some quality of life adjustments as stuff goes, but here's what we've got so far. Just changed that up a bit, downsized some of the supplies that were over there and moved them over to here. Oh, and Mooney is giving the place a QA inspection. I hope that it is to your approval, sir. We also have the desk moved over here, paper recycling, and again, and then we have the shop stuff over here. Now, while I do have these two standing in the way of the bottom two milk crates here, those two are really easy to move, and there's space under the desk to move them if need be. So, that's where they're sitting for now. Uh, the wood bookcases are sitting there and in this little jam here. Back here we have our paper and cardboard saved for uh, particular sewing projects and other things that they might be needed for. Prints in the print bag for the time being. More shop stuff. The Digital desk, as I call it, is pretty well set up. And then we have our analog tools here and the analog desk here. And 
I'm really loving this. Now I need to test that lamp and see if the cord can stretch and have it hook on the top here. That's something I still gotta test, but still really liking it. Also managed to get the cords under control to an extent. This is probably the cleanest that the cords have been for a long while, so I'm happy about that. I'm just really pleased with this office reorganization. And the nice thing is, is, oh my gosh, look at all this space I can walk through. Oh my gosh. Alex is really gonna like that. There's a lot more space for her to walk through, which is good. And <laughs> there's the tripod. I, I detached you from the tripod. I hope that's okay. So thank you for joining me on this office reorganization project. Uh, let me know in the comments what your new favorite feature is for the new office setup. I personally really like having the desks like back to back. So if I can, if I want to change from one method, I can just turn around and do the other. That's probably my favorite feature, but what's your favorite feature? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this, give it a like. And if you would like to tune in for future art projects, feel free to subscribe. That's all I've got for now. Thanks so much for watching. You are awesome.